What's going on everyone? It's Rick Arder here and you're watching Computer Tech TV. Today I just wanted to talk about the load temperatures on the Gigabyte GTX 550 Ti Overclocked Edition video card. And I'm currently running GPU 3 on the video card itself. And you can see there I'm, I have uh, about 15% done on the work unit, uh, averaging about 9600 points per day as of right now. And our temperatures with 100% fan speed it is roughly 78, maybe close to 80 degrees Fahrenheit in the room right now. We're running 100% fan speed, which puts the fan at about 2100 RPM. And really the only thing I can hear now is the whine of the capacitors. So, and it's really not too bad. Um, but the fan itself isn't really loud. It's, you know, not as loud as the uh, AMD stock cooler at 100%, which I also have running. And the GPU meter here, as you can see on the right, this is just a gadget you can download for uh, Windows 7 sidebar. And you can see we're running at 60 degrees Celsius with 99% memory usage. And our 99% GPU usage, I'm sorry. Um, one thing I wanted to say too, for all you guys wondering, the shader clock is what really counts on here. And uh, I actually have everything at default. I'm running... Uh, can zoom this in for you guys. You can see we're running 970 on the core, 1940 on the shader, and 2100 on the memory. So if you are wanting to overclock your video card to increase your points per day, you want to increase the shader. And on most video cards, um, you're going to have to increase the core because they're linked and you can't unlink them. And the older video cards, you can do that, so you can lower your core a little bit and lower your memory and then overclock your shader as high as you can get it stable. But um, with the newer video cards, I believe it's the 4 series and the 5 series, and anything newer than that, they're locked. So, if anything, you can lower your memory clock down, maybe that'll help a little bit with heat and stability, and then you want to get your core and a shader as high as possible. And if anybody has any questions on as far as overclocking for folding at home, or any stability testing anything, let me know, and I might make a video. If not, I will answer a question in comment or personal message. So, there you guys go. Um, like I said, we're running 60 degrees Celsius flat, 99% GPU usage, GPU 3 client. So if you guys, like I said, have any questions about anything, please let me know. And you guys all have a great day. Lots more videos to come.